welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be talking about the importance of mowing trails, creating trails to begin with, then maintaining them. We're going to be discussing how this benefits not only you as a hunter, but making trails will benefit wildlife, deer, turkey. Typically they like using the path of least resistance, so if you make them a nice clean trail, they'll often utilize it. But that being said, we don't want to just willy-nilly come through here and start mowing out trails. We want to think about logically what the deer want to do from point A to point B, how they want to travel, and then we just want to encourage them to keep using those travel routes. And then oftentimes we can create good easy access spots for us. Not only will you not be leaving so much scent behind because of the shorter vegetation, but it's going to be quieter getting in and after all, that probably runs more hunts than scent does. Not saying scent isn't probably pretty close to as important, but if you're making a bunch of noise on the way in, it doesn't matter. <laughs> They're going to take off before they ever smell you. So you want to be quiet. You want to be scent free as much as possible. So we're going to walk in now. We're going to show you guys the food plot. So we're following this here now. Really nice trail. Heading up on some really thick cover. Last year's rub. Timber pond up here. We do hunt during the rut, but for the most part, we use the easy access coming from the east and we come into our deer stand and it's a 25 yard shot to this food source. We're just making a trail through here with our brush mower so that when the rut comes, we'll be heading up this trail here to our timber pond set. But until then, the deer will be utilizing this. They'll be coming down this and heading right through here out into this food plot. So guys, once you do have trails established on your farm, you are gonna wanna maintain them. You're gonna wanna keep them nice and short and lush. One, invasives will take over and uh, it can get really thick even just in one summer. And once it does, if it gets too thick, they'll stop using them. Just mowed this food plot here. It's a small, less than an acre food plot, but a really good hidey hole plot. Here's our fruit tree. Coming from the east, right back there is our deer stand. So guys, another extremely important reason why you'd want to mow, and uh, I'm really just getting turned on to this this last season, is I'm trying to create short brood type habitat for my turkey poults. We're really focusing on trying to create a better turkey population on this farm. I do get a lot of use out of, out of my food sources by the turkeys and whitetail, and I love having lush food plots. The unfortunate part is when the turkey poults just hatch, they're really short and they have such a hard time getting through thick vegetation. So when you have a really thick property like I do, I've been actually managing this farm to thicken it. It was an open hardwood timber stand and we really wanted to create a better whitetail and turkey hunting property. Um, we have really good nest sites, but we don't have good um, brood habitat. We don't have short vegetation. So that is another reason why I want to create all these awesome trail systems for the hens to be able to walk around and bug with their turkey poults. So if you look down here, just even the stuff that I just mowed, I mean, think about how thick that is. It's, you know, almost three inches thick. Turkey poults only like this big, so even just coming through here, it could be a struggle for them, let alone stuff like this. How are they gonna be able to navigate through this? It'll be really tough for them. So just another thing to keep in mind, guys, when you're putting a habitat plan all together, we're trying to create high odd travel routes. We're trying to create really good food sources. We're trying to create, you know, short habitat for our turkey poults. We're trying to create nesting sites. We're trying to remove some of our invasive species and replace that with better native vegetation. We're trying to select cut some of our hardwoods, get more sunlight on the forest floor. We're just trying to put everything together and create an overall better property. We really feel like in the last few years, we've made such a big improvement and hopefully it'll start paying off here pretty soon. Thanks for tuning in on another episode, guys.